Hello everyone, it's Old Tink and welcome back to Duskwood. Oh my god, it's been a while, but we are here, we're back. Um, as you can see, they actually updated the, um, the game, basically, and it looks awesome. I like the, um, the starter music in the background. Huh? The music in the front page is amazing. I really like how they changed everything. This looks awesome. But enough of that, we're just going to continue today. Um, I mean, let's just jump right into it. Let's just not waste any more time. And yeah, um, I'm really excited to see what's next in this game. So let's go. Richie says, hey there, King. Uh, actually, um, I want to say that I chose this um, theme on the game, so I actually really like it. There are some other ones too, but I decided to get this one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. Jesse said that you want to talk to me about something. Did you call Hannah on the day of your disappearance? When was the last time you spoke with Hannah? I'm going through Hannah's last calls right now. Oh yeah, I remember. So uh, we were chatting Hannah's last calls, and um, me and the hacker basically. And I called a number, and Jesse responded. So one of the last calls was Richie and Jesse. So yeah, it's time to find out what were they talking about. So, when was the last time you spoke with Hannah? Um, I'm gonna ask that. When was the last time you spoke with Hannah? I mean, we pretty much know, but I just I just want to see if he's gonna lie about it or not. That might have been the day of the her kidnapping, actually. Okay, so he actually said the truth. That's what I wanted to hear, or basically see, so I know that he's not lying. What did you guys talk about? I was finishing, I was finishing up with your car that morning, and I let her know that it was ready to be picked up. She had brought it over a few days prior. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. I trust Richie, but... Honestly, I gave it some thought recently and I'm like... I should probably not trust everyone because, honestly, I get the idea that the... Um, that the kidnapper or like... Um, should I call him imposter? Like, <laughs> basically, the kidnapper is among us, and I honestly feel like I'm gonna get surprised by th by that, and so I'm like, I should probably not trust anyone except the hacker because I honestly, why why would he help me? You know, I mean, unless he would try to sabotage me, but. Honestly, I don't think that he is a kidnapper, so, I mean, I want to trust them, but honestly, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm really sorry in case I did fail to mention that to you, uh, no need to worry, oh, I'm just trying to get a clear picture of this. Yes, unfortunately, you did. Um, no need to worry. Every little detail could be important, you understand? Um, I have a few more questions for you. Sure. Ask away whatever you want. So, why didn't Je why didn't Jesse know anything about this? Was what was wrong with Hannah's car? Did you notice anything about Hannah? Do you know where Hannah went after that? So Hannah was with you before she disappeared? Um, 
Can I ask all of this? <laughs> can I ask all of these questions? Let's see. Um, let's start with this. What was wrong with Hannah's car? The oil pan. If I had to guess what cracked the oil pan, I'll I would assume she hit a pothole, but I didn't ask her about it because I'm actually discreet. Just in case any of that helps you somehow. <laughs> yes, especially the info about your discretion. I'm gonna say yes, thanks. Let's see. Okay, I can actually ask all this. Um, so, Hannah was with you before she disappeared? Yes, she stopped by after I called her to pick, to pick up her car. That was the last time I saw her. Did you notice anything about Hannah? No, nothing at all. She didn't mention... She didn't mention anything strange? No, I'm sure I would have noticed. I walked her over to her car and we had a brief conversation. She gave me a tip, I even still remember their exact amount. Five dollars she had in her car, she always kept some change in the cup holder behind the emergency brake. I mean, it's basically 5.13 dollars, but whatever. Um, you really remember everything, <laughs> how nice of her, she gave you a tip. Um, you really remember everything. I've thought about this a lot ever since she disappeared. Do you know where Hannah went after that? No. Why didn't Jess know anything about this? Because she was not at the shop that day, she had the day off. You've known Hannah for a long time, haven't you? Okay, I currently don't have any other questions. You've known Hannah for a long time, haven't you? Yes, more or less since I can put two sentences together. I think you and her will get along great. I think you're right, who knows? We'll find out real soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm typically a pretty likable person. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm typically a pretty like, but I mean, should I? <laughs> mm. I'm gonna say, I think you're right. I don't think the two of us ever spoke about her before. You know... I might have been the last one of us to see her. Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> you couldn't have stopped it, which is true, but it's also difficult, so... Um, you couldn't have stopped it. I'm sorry that I couldn't really be of too much help. You did help me, Richie. Every little detail could lead to Hannah in the end. 
Who said that? You might remember something else later. I'm gonna say you did help me, Richie. Then I'm just not detective enough to actually know that what I said was helpful. Oh, King. Do you want to take a look at what I'm currently having trouble with? Oh, I'm gonna say sorry, no time. Hmm, okay. Adios. I called the next number from the log, and this time I had more like it was Thomas. Oh, hold on. Did you happen to get a hold of Richie or Jessica? Just read the chat messages. Yes, I've spoken to Richie. Uh, just read the chat messages. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say yes, I've spoken to Richie. Uh, here, Pert Hannah's car, she took her car to his shop due to a damaged pan. I'm gonna say he repaired Hannah's car. He didn't notice anything strange about her behavior. Jesse was off from work that day. He didn't notice anything strange about her behavior. Richie was probably the last person to see Hannah. Thanks, King. Yeah, no problem. I mean, um... Okay, well, no, 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 what? No, 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 no. <laughs> whatever, whatever. It is of utmost importance that we find out as much as possible about the day she disappeared. I know, right? Something was strange about the info Richie gave me. Not really. I do what I can, that's why the phone log is so valuable. Yes, that's true. I mean, why why was there an option about um, Richie, about finding something strange on, uh, on the information that Richie gave us, like... Honestly, I didn't find anything strange, but since there was an option, I'm thinking maybe there was something there, or it was just the game trying to trick us. Okay, yeah, let's continue. Yes, that's true. Could you talk to Thomas about his call with Hannah? Um, sure, I can do that. Thank you. I have to go now, I spent too much time already. I'm sorry that you are on your own with so many things. I'm going to send Lily the bill, <laughs> lol. Pfft, I'll handle it without a problem. Um. <laughs> I mean, I'll say the second one, but I'm just... Uh, Shall I say the first one? I think it's funny, honestly. Um, nah, screw Lily, I'm gonna say this. Take care. I will be back in touch with you as soon as possible. So, Thomas. You got time? Okay, how did you? Is it really true you did something to the to that one girl? Yes, it's true. You better be glad I'm not in dusk with right now. You're not going to get a response from me. Um, should I troll? Is that basically what the game is trying to tell me now? Um, I'm gonna try to frighten him. You better be glad I'm not in that school right now. <laughs> Lol, he's not flying. Um, let's continue. So, 
Dunn and Ritchie. Oh, this one again. But you do get this, right? Sure. Just like Batman. <laughs> I made that. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Of, I mean, yeah, of course, who else would, would that... Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> sorry, Dan, but I'm currently dealing with your car. We'll sex later, okay? Lol. And now... Um, I just have to do another... Whatever, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> You are already aware that your name shows up in Hans phone records. Are you thinking of an excuse right this moment? No, my bad. I thought you wanted to talk about Alfie. No, but we're still going to do that later. There's more important stuff going on. I'm not getting involved in that one. I don't know what you're talking about. No, but we're still going to do that later. Yes, I called Hannah right before she vanished. And now you guys are welcome to think whatever you want. I know what that looks like to you and everyone is already treating me like a suspect anyway. I'm completely neutral, Thomas. That's not even true. Are you trying to convince yourself? Um... Are you trying to, cons to convince or uh, I can't even speak right now. Are you trying to convince yourself? That has nothing to do with convincing. How long has it been since you've talked to me? But that's not because I think you're a suspect. I am pretty busy. Well, that was quite a while ago. You could text me as well. But that's not because I think you're a suspect. I'm just gonna say this. It's a tricky... Uh, sentence right here because it's not just you they're starting to exclude me more and more I'm honestly neutral but I just I want to say this because there is a 50-50 I mean there is a 50-50 possibility that he may be kind of involved in this but maybe not. I just wanna see how that goes, basically. So wrong, you're excluding yourself. I actually noticed that too. Just stop acting so suspicious. Mm. I'm gonna say wrong, you're excluding yourself. You have the opportunity to change this, here and now. Then please help me now, Thomas. It doesn't help us if you're over here acting like a primidon. <laughs> um, you have the opportunity to change this, here and now.
From one day to the other, Hannah just changed so much. She was always lost in her thoughts, didn't have time for me anymore and refused to tell me what was wrong with her. Did anything happen between you two, out of nowhere, like she wasn't interested in you in any longer? Did anything happen between you two? I'm pretty sure she just wanted to break up with him. But, um, let's just continue. No, nothing. I wondered the same thing over and over again, but I'm sure that nothing happened between us. Of course, I wanted to confront her about it. I just went over to her place, but she wasn't there. So I waited for her in her apartment all day. You went to her apartment without letting her know? Why didn't you just call her? I mean, I could say go on, but I'm just gonna ask, why didn't you just call her? While you were waiting. I mean, before you went to her place. While you were waiting. I don't know. Huh. I didn't think that she would be out for the entire day. I mean, still, you'll like, you'll call her, but whatever. While I was waiting, many different scenarios were going through my head, and I really thought that I was prepared for anything. Well, not for anything, seems like. I mainly wanted to tell her that she could talk to me, that we could overcome anything as long as we are together. When she finally came back home, she didn't even want to tell me where she had been all day. That would get anybody angry for sure. Okay, that is really strange. Oh, that sounds suspicious. Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say that will get anybody angry for sure. Hmm. It was extremely difficult, but I tried to ignore it at first. I thought it would be a good start if I began the conversation by telling her why I came there in the first place, that I was there for her, that she could talk to me, that I would be willing to change for her. Change? So you thought it was all your fault? When you have to say stuff like that, it's usually too late. Well, that's true, but I'm gonna say this change so you thought it was all your fault detective old king here guys <laughs> i just want her to know that if it was because of me i would be willing to change my ways but the words didn't even really get through to her what was it that captured her attention what do you mean by that um let's ask that Hannah's head was somewhere completely different. She simply took a seat on the couch and proceeded to look right through me. That's when I got angry and desperate. Well, and then I thought that the only thing I could do was to give her back the keys to her apartment. You wanted to make a statement? That doesn't make much sense to me. Do you want to know what I would have done? Wait. Then I thought that the only thing I could do was to give her back the was to give her back the keys to her apartment. But why did he also make a tea for her apartment? That's really confusing right now, honestly. You want to make a statement that doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, kinda does, but it kinda doesn't. Yeah, it, it kinda does, but it kinda doesn't, so... You wanted to make a statement, right?
Wait, no, that actually, no, honestly, now that I think about it, that doesn't make much sense to me. I'm gonna say that. I mean, as I said already, it kinda does, but it kinda doesn't, but... If he wants your attention, why... why... I mean... Let's just keep on going. Well, I thought maybe she'll wake up and realize what she did to me. That... that part makes sense, but... Anyway, then I put the key into her purse, and that's when I found a bracelet. Oh, yeah, the... Forgot the... <laughs> I forgot the initials, but... Let's see. It sounds like you were snooping around in your purse. You found it. <laughs> really? A bracelet? You found it. <laughs> yes, I found it. That's what we call it now, but whatever. Yeah, um... <laughs> But before I could take a closer look at it, Hannah suddenly appeared next to me and ripped it out of my hand. So I asked who gave her the bracelet and she responded. Thomas, what did she say? Are you crying right now? It's okay, take your time. Thomas, what did she say? I'm sorry. I mean, she didn't say I'm sorry, she says I'm sorry, <laughs> just in case. All of these memories are coming back to the f surface. Hannah is the most important thing in the world to me. And I just feel so incredibly powerless. Dude, he, <laughs> he stopped at the perfect timing, I mean like, at the most important information. I mean, <laughs> let's just continue. Can we not get distracted exactly? <laughs> exactly, dude. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. Well, for those who might get triggered that I'm laughing at this, I mean, it's obviously a game, it's not real life, so... Um, yeah. Chill, alright. <laughs> well, you would have been better off keeping the key. I mean, that's true. Why would you give the key back? I don't understand. I mean, he did it for attention, but whatever. That has to be totally awful. Um, well, if I say, can we not get distracted? I'm actually gonna be kind of mean. Because honestly, he gets emotional like makes sense but like I think I'm gonna be kinda harsh on that one cause I really need I really need to get this information out of him so um can we not get distracted I'm trying not to So, Hannah didn't tell me who gave her the bracelet. It was like a knife to my heart, and that's when I left the apartment. Gallery updated, so... Jesse updated her gallery, whatever. Um, I should have been informed about this a lot sooner. So, technically, that makes you her ex-boyfriend. No, it doesn't. How long ago was this arg argument? What can you tell me about the bracelet? Why were you in the phone log, anyway? How long ago was this argument? I'm gonna call her... I'm gonna call you her ex, no matter what you say. <laughs> about two weeks ago, maybe longer. What can you tell me about the bracelet? That's the most important thing right now. That you could tell me. Not much, she didn't want to tell me where she got it from. Any other detail? Someone's initials when and someone's initials were engraved on the inside JH. Exactly, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, if Hannah snatched the bracelet away from you so quickly, I have a feeling that you're keeping some. I have a feeling that you're keeping something from me. Thank you for your honesty. I have a feeling that you're keeping something from me. Yeah. Oh, this looks cool. I mean, where are the initials though? Oh well. Where did you get that? This one time I'm not going to ask questions. Today. Um, where did you get that? I went to her apartment to get it. Oh, so maybe he got the key. He created an another key. Or like he got it somehow just to get to the apartment and get the bracelet. Yeah, that makes sense. Because he gave he gave her keys back. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now that makes sense. Okay. I mean yeah, but why did he do that? Um I mean, he w his behavior was kind of suspicious. Why didn't he ask for help or tell anyone? Why did he do that in secret? The only person that knows that is Dan. That he got a key without anyone knowing. And let's just see. Um, but you didn't even have a key anymore. I'm sorry, but that's really suspicious behavior. Yeah, like, why did you go alone? I mean, that's that is suspicious behavior. Um, I'm gonna say, but you didn't, but you didn't even have a key anymore. Yes, that's true. But I knew how to help myself. Is he gonna lie? I have a feeling that this bracelet is important somehow. It is important. And that J.H. might have done something to Han. Yeah, I think so too. You do realize that this initial smudge Jesse's? You're talking as if you have proof. You're talking as if you have proof. Yeah, I guess you can say that. You probably figured that out by now too. That Hannah must have received this bracelet from a lover. That would make sense, I have to agree. That's why you make a great suspect. I'm sure that something else is behind all of this. I'm sure that something else is behind all of this. I feel like I can't be sure about anything. Exactly, you can't be sure that it's a lover. This bracelet and Hans' weird behavior are the only things I have to hold on to. It's a good thing that you're following this lead. I think that you're wasting your time. Thank you for filling me in. Um, it's a good thing that you're following this lead. I didn't know the hacker's name until Lily said it during the discussion. The name Jake matches the first initial in the bracelet. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yo, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now we're on something. We're... Oh my god, like, honestly, Jake might have to do something more than this. She might have went to a date with Hannah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yo, that that's interesting. I mean, it... It could possibly be wrong just to distract us, but I think that this might be also uh, true. Because why would 
Why will Jake help us um, out of nowhere? No one knows about him. Why would he help some random people? I mean, yeah, some people do that like heroes or, or like uh, people who want to help, but it just kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess if he was bored, you, he could have done that, but I think there's more than that. I think he definitely had some connection with Hannah. And so he said he's hiding from the police or from the government, basically. Huh, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. The name Jack matches the first initial on the bracelet. You think that Jake is Hannah's lover? I mean, I'm not gonna ask that yet. I'm gonna say that is the same coincidence as with Jesse. I gotta say this. I don't know. In any case, that's everything I'm able to say about the bracelet. Then let's change the subject. Thomas, I have to confess something. No, I don't have anything to confess about, but... Hmm... I really don't want to change subject, though. Ah, okay, let's say this. Why were you on the phone log anyway? I called her because I wanted to meet with her. We hadn't seen each other since the argument and I wanted to tell her I was sorry. Accidentally on the day of her disappearance. And then you met up. What did she say? And then you met up. No. That was really strange. She actually apologized. What did she say again? That I would have to be patient. When she said it, she sounded somehow optimistic. No, that's the wrong word. She sounded a little bit like the old Hannah again. Can I ask you for a favor? Um, of course you can. Let's just say that. It might actually help us to solve the mystery, so why not? Could you maybe try to find out the hacker's last name because of the bracelet? I don't think that he will tell me. Sure, I'll do that, Thomas. No, I think I will be stepping on his toes with that. I mean, sure, I'm actually really interested to find out about that too, so... Sure, I'll do that, Thomas. Thanks, King. I have to go now. What are you up to? I don't think you really care. I don't want to be too pushy, I mean, yeah, but I'd like to decide that for myself. Um, I do. I'm gonna say this because I, I feel like it sounds kinda more badass, you know? <laughs> I'd like to decide that for myself. I promised my mother to help her with her work. That's where I'm going now. I'm glad that we talked. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad too. Let's talk to Jake. Um, Jake, I have news.
This is a bracelet. Thomas was trying to meet with Hannah. From one day to the other, Hannah was completely changed. Uh, Thomas was trying to meet with Hannah. That's why his name was on the phone log. According to Thomas, Hannah rejected the meet. Hannah rejected the meeting. I wonder if it's true, and I believe him too. I don't believe that they ended up meeting anyway. I wonder if it's true. From one day to the other, Hannah was completely changed. The others would have had to notice too, right? I think Thomas is hiding something. I mean, in some way, yes, because if Thomas says that he is so a really strange behavior from Hannah and Richie, Richie said he didn't see anything out of the ordinary that's kind of sus that's really sus um, I believe Richie I mean, let's see she was probably seeing another man Thomas is pursuing the theory of another man You will tell me if that man was you, right? I would really like to hear your opinion. Thomas is slowly starting to trust me. I don't know, officially know about the argument between Thomas and Hannah. Thomas is more suspicious than ever. Either way, Thomas is no longer their main suspect. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say he's not the main suspect. Uh, you can read that yourself, you're not going to come online, are you? Bruh, <laughs> come on, where are you? I guess I'm gonna carry on on my own, you can depend on me. Well, just write me when you have time. And that's it. Mini game now, mini game time, yes. Okay.